What are some of the things that you remember from Coach Angel? Um, I remember that after training, he he was really he was really kind to everybody that trained, and after all the training sessions, well, most of them, he would bring us to his apartment and we'll all eat, and he'll he'll like treat us all like family. He used to cook for us after training, and he used to talk to us about stuff that we wasn't supposed to be doing. It just it kind of like happened overnight. It started with a pinched nerve. That's what he was diagnosed as. Uh, um, something was wrong with his spine, a pinched nerve or something. His daughter kept telling him that's not what it is, Dad. She worked in a hospital. Go to another hospital. Um, next thing you know, he had a walking stick. Then he was on a, um, what's it called? The whole works with the wheels. And wheelchair? Not a wheelchair. The walker. The, oh, the walker. walker. And then he just like graduated to a wheelchair. It, it literally felt like two months but it probably happened i think it happened in four or five months um he had cancer and then by that time it had reached his spine i believe it was we were called about him not doing very good uh and we rushed over to the facility where he was and uh when i got there he used to always call me baby and, he, and I walked in and he was like, hey baby. And he had this like million dollar smile. So he like just smiled real big and was like, hey baby. And I'm like, I felt so relieved because I was like, wow, he looks, he looks so happy, you know. When we left, uh, it didn't feel right, felt uncomfortable. And um, then we got a call that, that, it, um, that he passed about four hours later. West Art District sits just under the new shadow of Orlando City Soccer Stadium, just a few miles east of Camping World Stadium, and just a walk's distance from OBT, known for prostitution and drug deals. Same story that we always hear, I don't want them doing what I did. You know, having to join gangs to protect yourself because of the neighborhoods. So the movement is gonna bring a lot of people to this spot. But what we're looking for is the troubled youth. Paramore Community's history dates back to the 1880s and is coming alive with the Orlando City Soccer Stadium, Camping World Stadium, and the home of the Orlando Magic, the Amway Center, just within miles of each other. Gloves up, guns down is basically our initiation into the West Art District. We've been training kids in backyards and in what we call concrete jungles, AKA parking lots in Pine Hills and off of Oak Ridge and OBT for about three to five years now. It's an ugly background, but there's gonna be a lot of beautiful things happening in it now. Everything's gonna change. It's like this building, it's been gutted out and the beauty of the art that's been placed upon it At first glance, you might mistake West Art District for an abandoned warehouse on the corner of Central and Westmoreland. The paint on the buildings aren't criminal in nature, but in fact are welcomed by the owners. It's a place that attracts all walks of life. Um, because the West Art District has opened the doors to us, we no longer have to train in backyards and throw kicks and get dirt in each other's faces. Many parents believe that West Art District is having a positive effect and keeping kids off the street. Positive outcome to their training so they can stay off the streets and we can all become a family and have the kids out of trouble. It's very positive, so it's definitely been an impact for all of us. It's been a blessing. I mean, I'm a fifth grade teacher right now, and I teach yoga to my kids, and I can see such a big improvement in their mental attitudes, just their patience and anxiety levels. 
Rene Level Martinez, professional mixed martial artist, drove up from Miami to support Ruben and Gloves Up, Guns Down. He used to sell drugs as a well-known street gang leader of Latin Syndicate. trying to continue the legacy of what he did. We can never be what Coach, Coach Angel was. He would cook for the kids. I can't cook, but I have a wife who can cook. Ruben, 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 Ruben Ruben's sister actually has her um, little brother-in-law who was actually attacked um, in the neighborhood where we started there. He was beaten nearly, I mean, he was put in the hospital. Oh, Ryan, get, I can't. 